Let's continue where we left off in the last lesson by creating the supports that hold up the boiler. So to get started, let's select the boiler and select the blueprint. Alt and Q to isolate the selection. Let's go to left viewport just so I can show you what, what we're doing here. These are like these violet color uh, pieces. There should be one here as well. And what they do is they cup the bottom like a semicircle cupping of the, the boiler and then they go down and attach to the chassis somehow. So um, what we're going to do is shift and B. That's the back viewport. And I'm going to just build with some arcs a little um, support part, a bracket of some sort. So um, we'll start. Let's go here. Drag across with the arc tool. And then when I get to the other side, I'll release and then pull it down and get an arc just like that. I'm going to do one more just a little bit further out, about the same level. I'm going to drag across right there. I want to make sure we cross through the points. And then we'll drag it down just like that. Okay. Let's grab both by control and clicking on, the, uh, on both splines. And now let's Alt and Q. I exited isolation and now that they, they were selected. So when I isolate again, we have the just them selected. Um, let's go to Shift and B. Zoom in. Okay. And I want to take the top arc, convert to editable spline, and attach the bottom arc to it. Just like that. Let's go to Perspective. I'm finding with arc we get a little, um, a little bit of weirdness when we when we um, attach the two splines, but it doesn't look too bad. If you have the same thing, just uh, try different methods until something works. Um, seems a little buggy, to tell you the truth, so just keep that in mind if you get to this part and you have any difficulties. Okay, so now we have these two arcs, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on snaps. I'm going to right-click snaps and make sure we're set to vertex. We are. And I'm going to do uh, create line, and you'll see the yellow uh, plus sign. I left-click, let go left click again and then I right click to end that that function I'm gonna do the same at the other side left click left click and right click and exit create line and now what we want to do is um, turn off snaps with the S key I'm gonna go to vertex and we have to fuse and weld the four corners that we just uh, bridged across so fuse weld and do it on each of the four corners fuse first then weld fuse and weld okay and now we'll go up to the top. Let's go to Create Panel, Shapes, Rectangle. I want to show the grid if it's not showing. That's the G key. Um, and what we're going to do is I'm going to use the grid as a guide. And I'm going to start here and drag out a rectangle. Now I don't have the chassis showing, but I'm not so concerned about that right now. There we go. And now what I'm going to do is grab this top spline and attach the rectangle to it. Just like that. Perspective. And again, we're getting some odd behavior. Um, I'm not sure exactly what it is, but it's not a big deal. Just zoom out, you'll see both. I'm going to move this down. Let's go to Shift and B, which is the viewport that I want. Okay. So now, um, let's select the top spline, and we're going to do a Boolean union. So we have Boolean union selected, and we'll click on that rectangle, and there we go. Save your file. Okay, and that's part of the support. What we're going to do is we're going to um, extrude it. So let's go to the modifier list and add an extrude modifier. Uh, P for perspective. F3 so I can see that it is actually doing what it's supposed to. Let's make it a couple inches. Let's go three inches just for now. Let's exit isolation. And let's select the boiler with control. And let's also select um, the chassis. And I can see these items as I'm selecting them. Um, just be careful. Make sure you get the right parts. There we go. And now Alt and Q once again. F3. Okay. And you can see if we go to Shift and B, that's the viewport we want to look. But that li looks like it lines up pretty good. Um, we need a piece that spans across the chassis. So we're going to go back to this part. Turn off the extrude. Let's come down here. And let's create a rectangle. And we're going to go... Um, let's go from here. Let's go from the top. From here, across, just like that. Get a little thickness. And that's perfect. And uh, let's go to perspective. Make sure that they're aligned to each other, which they are. Grab the original. And we're going to attach. And remember, we've been having a little bit of odd behavior, so if something doesn't look right. Okay, then we just zoom out. And there we go. 
Alt and Q. I isolate that. Okay. I'm going to grab that spline. And uh, this I've tried this a few times, so I can tell you that this um, is buggy. It is a, a max bug, it would appear. I'll have to make a report. But um, just be patient. And you could also do an outline and click with a line tool to make this. But it's, it's working. It's not so bad. Okay, so now what we want to do is um, we're going to Boolean union and attach that piece. There we go. That's really nice. Um, let's go back up to the top, extrude, exit isolation. And I want to do this one more time. With control, click the boiler. Let's click the chassis on both sides. And Alt and Q so we can see a little better. I'm going to shift and B for the Shift and B, sorry, for the back viewport. Okay, and now we can make an adjustment to that part. Let's grab these verts at the bottom and just make them go up a little so they're atop of the uh, the chassis. Let's go to perspective and extrude. And we can do this to vertex, show end result. And now as I move, we'll see when that um, F3, we'll see when the edge kind of penetrates through the um, the chassis and we don't want it to go there that looks good okay and let's do this let's grab that vert and that vert and this one and this one let's use fillet and that's actually what we want we want that kind of look to this and then we'll grab a couple verts up here this one and this one and we'll just play with fillet till we get something we like that looks good Okay. All right, and that simply we have a, a support beam. I also think up here we want to fillet these edges, these verts rather. Let's grab this one and the same one on the opposite side and let's left click on fillet and that looks good. Okay. So, let's save the file. I want to pause the video. We're going to we're going to take this piece and we're going to um, clone it to different locations in the next video, which will be a quick video. So I'm going to pause the video.